Hello all, uh, welcome to Universal Group of Institutions, Bengaluru. Welcome to our very special series on Q and A, where we have been discussing Civil Service 2025 Paper 1 Questions and Answers, that is the, the General Studies. If you have not watched our previous video, where we have discussed the question number 44, please watch it. In this particular video session, we are going to discuss the question number 45. Consider the following substances, ethanol, nitroglycerin urea coal gasification technology can be used in the production of how many of them only one only two all three none so they are asking about which is you know this coal gasification technology is used in the production of how many of them so let us understand what is a coal gasification coal gasification is a process that converts the coal into gaseous fuel usually called as the syn gas or synthetic gas. The synthetic gas is mixture of carbon monoxide, hydrogen, methane as well as the carbon dioxide. So how it is being done? Coal is heated at a high temperature and pressure in the you know, presence of the controlled amount of oxygen. You can even see here that is the you know basis of the how the coal is heated in the presence of the controlled oxygen now this process is you know very important instead of you know entirely burning of the coal just coal's carbon reacts chemically to form the gaseous products which is again utilized for the electricity generation for the feedstock of chemicals like ammonia methanol and the urea and the production of the natural gas there is the liquid fuels as well as the hydrogen production. So it offers certain advantages that is the gold, uh, coal gasification technology. So it is used for the ethanol, yes. Okay, it is used for the urea, yes. It is not used that is in the process of the nitroglycerin. So answer here happens to be the only to see again. This particular question I would put in the category of a very tough, you know, very, very few, very handful people will be in the examination hall, will be able to solve this particular question. It is, you know, very tough considering the, you know, the setup of the examination hall and all. So, this, that's it in this particular video session. Uh, do stay tuned for our next video where we are going to discuss the question number 46.